Hello, Chef Marcus Giuliano here, and I'm your chef on a mission. I'm in uh, Vegas right now, and uh, I'm at a restaurant, Oriel's. I'm outside. I'm talking to uh, one of the staff members, a hostess, about their salmon that's on their menu. Just finding out, and just wanted to get her opinion if they're, not her opinion, but ask her if the salmon was on, the salmon that's on the menu is wild, because it says king salmon on it. King salmon could indicate that it's wild king salmon. Uh, it says aura, aura king salmon. By the way, when celebrity chefs list specific names on their restaurant, they list farm names, producer names, a place like Charlie Palmer, um, I know Giada uh, De Laurentiis for a fact, um, other restaurants too, and I'm sure that maybe Tom Clico does this. When you get up to a certain level, like this, those brand names that are on your menu, those are contracted. So the producer has to pay the chef, has to pay the restaurant to get their name actually listed on the menu. Yeah, a little bit of a scam going on there. Um, so sometimes when you're at one of these big restaurants, the name's on there, that spot is paid for. That's an ad by that producer. And sometimes it has nothing to do with the chef's standards. Uh, so this is uh, Oriel, Charlie Palmer's restaurant, uh, celebrity chef for a long time, very famous, well-known chef. Uh, the hostess outside, I'm asking her, so I just said, hey, is your king salmon, is your salmon wild? And this is the answer that I'm going to get. And I'm going to listen to this. She says they don't just, that they hand select it, um, that it's out there in the wild. Uh, just, it's, it's, it's really, really just a, um, um, an answer that's kind of designed or an answer that would trick the average consumer. Like, oh, well, it's not really farmed. Yeah, it's sort of out there in the wild. So check this out. Roll, let's roll into this. Yeah, it's, um... So it's farm. Here's the wild, but like they're putting some around. You ain't going anywhere, but you're in the wild. Uh. Now, I explained to her the difference once we uh, once I turned off the camera, and she um, she was pregnant, right, Courtney? Yeah. So she was pregnant. So she's concerned herself about the stuff that she's eating. And she was actually shocked with all the information I told her about farmed salmon, and specifically the salmon that she's serving. They're serving a salmon from New Zealand. There is no way to properly raise uh, uh, net salmon, pen salmon, feedlot salmon. But she's basically they're serving feedlot. And I said, you know, it's, and it's funny because all these chefs say how ingredients need to be pure to cook with, and you start with good ingredients. And farmed salmon uh, is known to be, it's dubbed as one of the world's most toxic foods just because of uh, the uh, the crap that goes into the food and how they're raised and the chemicals and the pesticides that we put into it um, and the slice to treat the lice. Uh, it's just, it's a disaster. In fact, they're so toxic, they kill the ecosystem around them. Um, just give them 10, 20 years and, and the whole area is dead. Nothing else can live there. And we don't know even how they're living there in this toxic sludge, uh, but they're highly medicated and, uh, and tons of stuff goes in. So I explained it to her and she's like, wow. She's like, I need to talk to the chef because if he knew this, I'm, why would he be serving this? And the bottom line is a lot of chefs know that farmed salmon is not the answer. But they get tricked and conned, or maybe, maybe in this case, I'm not saying 100%, maybe in this case, that's a paid spot on the, on, uh, it's an ad, it's a paid spot on the menu there. They'll take, uh, Charlie Palmer will say, hey, yeah, you want to put your name on the menu, here's a contract um, that can run ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 a year. I'm not sure the exact details of those, but they do run into the thousands of dollars a year. Tavern on the Green, if you wanted to pour your wine by the glass there, uh, they charge you, which is totally illegal. That's the old Tavern on the Green before the new owners, and who knows what the new owners do. But I'm speaking for the previous regime at Tavern on the Green. They would charge. It was, it was, it was a fee to put your product in place there because they would know that their menu and their bar would get lots of eyes and would help boost sales when people go other places. So not saying Charlie Palmer, Palmer does that, but you never know that could be the, could be the case when you're looking at that. Um, so I explained that to her too. You know, it's, it might, this might be out of the chef's hands. The chefs might know that, he, that, that, that they're serving something really dirty and uh, they just can't do anything about it. So next time you're at a restaurant, speak up. Uh, speak up against farm penlot salmon. Uh, tell them you'd like better options. Tell them it's no place, especially on celebrity chef menus. And I'm going to head over to Rick Moo and RM Seafood. Uh, Rick is actually in Vegas. He's in the restaurant. I'm going to go over there and start asking some questions next. Uh, Rick Moo and the godfather of sustainable seafood who also serves farm salmon. Uh, he actually serves two different types of farm salmon. True North, Cook Aquaculture, which is one of the most scandalous companies out there. 
And uh, then he serves a Scottish salmon, and Scottish salmon is by no means any better, and Cook Aquaculture has farms in Scotland too. So uh, a lot of activists in Scotland are trying to get salmon farms uh, removed. Go to uh, salmonfarmingkills.com. Check out that website. Uh, he is, uh, Don Sanford is actually in Scotland fighting that fight to have the salmon farms out, get them out of there. So uh, thanks for watching. Leave some comments, some questions, and I'd be happy to answer.